Hello, this is Landon from Design Visionaries. In this video, I'd like to show you the flattening and forming feature added to NX11. In NX11, there is an ability to take a surface like I have here and flatten it down so you can add curves and features to it and then translate it back to the original shape. Uh, a lot of times I may have a part like this and you have to add like holes or uh, if this was like a insert for a medical device uh, uh, like an implant I uh, would need like holes so that it can be um, mounted to a bone or something and you know it's not necessarily easy to put curves on this because you have to use the project command and many times that's not as accurate as you would like it to be um, so what you can do in this instance is you can take the forming and flattening tool and flatten this down, add the curves to it, and then uh, basically translate it back to the original shape. Um, I'll go ahead and show you that. It's under surface, and if you go to the edit surface group on uh, the surface tab, under the more section, you'll see there is flattening and forming. And basically what it's asking for is I need to select the source face that I want to flatten, which would be this one. Uh, specify the origin, which is going to be, I'm going to say the origin of my thesis. Uh, the primary direction of the flattening, uh, I'm going to go along the uh, z-axis here. And as you can see, it tries to um, create a copy based on that input. I'll hit OK. And let's just go ahead and hide this one for now. As you can see, I generated a flat version of that surface. And now I can come over and create a sketch on this plane. It is planar now. And I'm going to go ahead and start drawing up some curves. Uh, so again, I probably want uh, some holes on here. So I'm just going to do this, this. Um, so I have a center line here. Okay, yeah, I can probably. Uh, I'll just make a reference center line, just so I know I can click it. And I'm gonna go ahead and mirror. Let's see, probably I might want a copy of this. So maybe I'll do a small linear pattern here. Uh, I'm not gonna dimension it yet because I'm just showing this as an example, but. Um, so you probably want to do like three of these, and we could space them out a little more, like so. And I definitely want to mirror that. So we'll mirror this over here on the other side, like so. And let me just make sure that's centered. So we'll do a vertical align, which is the nice new constraint they added finally for NX11. And we'll just do a little linear pattern here for these. Along this. Good. And then finally, I just want to have like a little square here. Um, it could be a cutout. You may need to insert that something there, you know, or whatever it may be. But just another feature in here to show you. So let's go ahead and pick this. There we are. That'll be good. Go ahead and hit finish sketch. And now I have the uh, curves I created on that sketch. I'm going to go ahead and bring back my original here. And uh, essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and reform these curves back onto the surface. So what you do is now that I have a flat, I can go into surface, flattening and forming. And I can go instead of the flattening, I'm going to say forming and reuse. And I want to make sure reverse transformations. Obviously, we want to reverse it back to the original uh, shape. And then we're going to select the flatten object, which is this. And then it's asking for transformation objects. Basically, it's asking for the features that are going to be transformed back onto uh, the original shape. So I'm going to select these holes. And if you see, you might see a preview here. Ah, there it is. The holes are already being placed back on. All the little curves I'm selecting here are being placed back onto the original transform. So I'll just pick all of these like so and hit OK. And then I'm going to go ahead and hide this and the sketch, the original sketch. And as you can see, without using project sketch, I now have curves on this face. And I know that I can dimension these using the flat 
uh, to have, make sure that they are very precise and they stay where they're supposed to be on the surface. Again, this is Landon from Design Visionaries, and this was the flattening and forming feature. For more tools, tutorials, tips, and tricks, check us out at designvisionaries.com, and please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you.